Your continued support of the CoinSuries channel is much appreciated. Request from viewer is, who is your favorite CEO and who is the best coin for you? You can also comment your opinion. Thank you to all the subscribers of our CoinSuries. Who came to our channel CoinSuries? You will always be info with the latest CoinSuries news. Number 1, CEO Brad Garlinghouse XRP and Ripple. Number 2, CEO Grayscale SEC. Number 3, CEO JP Morgan Bitcoin. Number 4, CEO Brian Armstrong Coinbase. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. Several leaks and a major revelation have led many to suspect that the founder of Ethereum, who is key like, could have colluded to pay the US Securities and Exchange Commission to decertify XRP as a security. That being the case, his resignation is likely imminent. An anonymous revelation revealed the true nature of the Gartner family's investment in XRP, leading to this statement. Not long after the public learned of the erroneous disclosure of correspondence between Vitalik, founder and CEO of the Ethereum Foundation, and the chairman of the SEC, in agreement with Forbes projections, a credible prediction suggests that XRP's value will be close to or greater than $660,000. Google and Bing have both verified this promptly. Please consider subscribing to my channel, giving my videos a thumbs up, and hitting the bell button before today's video begins. There is no video that men have ever seen that compares to this one. Therefore, get out of your seat. My guess is that the CES rumbling case started someplace. It was then that the idea for the Ethereum Foundation came to fruition. The Russian-Canadian business tycoon Vitalik Brin registered the Ethereum platform as both a decentralized mining network and a software development platform in one. He then built and launched the platform. Ethereum was not considered a security when William Henman made his statement in 2018. This is yet another confirmation. The platform's developer first introduced Ethereum in a 2013 white paper, in November 2013, they rebranded it as Ethereum Valerian Brainin. It didn't take off, though, until he made the announcement at the North American Bitcoin Conference in Miami on January 26, 2014. That being stated, I persisted with my investigation. Seven of the reports I uncovered came from the same audience members who detailed William Hinman's alleged collaboration with the U.S. government's Securities and Exchange Commission to compensate them for developing the XRP digital currency, an asset that ought to be classified as a security, and how Ethereum was created. What followed is a detailed chronology of events. Notably, this occurred shortly after CoinMarketCap removed all South Korean exchanges from their XRP pricing computations, as both this document and the information I got emphasize. After reaching a new high of $384 on January 4, 2018, XRP's price fell below $1 and the cryptocurrency's market capitalization fell more than $20 billion. First thing in the morning. Brandon, the chief executive officer responsible for keeping the time, believed that South Korean exchanges were deliberately boosting the value of digital assets rather than maintaining them at their market worth, which led to this situation. A few days later, Ethereum also decided to reach a new high of approximately $13.96. These two digital assets caught the attention of SEC Chief Jay Clayton, who went on to teach a group of people who were assisting him in forming the investor organization now called Ethereum. This crew reviewed XRP and Ethereum extensively before opting to put money into them. They decided to go ahead a few weeks after a few days of vital without it. Perkinson requests that Bloomberg interview Brad Garlinhouse, one of the last remaining individuals about Ripple's intentions to replace SWIFT with the cryptocurrency XRP, in a message that mentions Bill Heineman. Ethereum, or ETH, is the only digital asset that qualifies for safe harbor protection, and it is a cryptocurrency. Furthermore, he proposed that the investment group schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him to discuss requesting a regulation exception from the SEC. Reportedly, Ethereum investors are asking this beautiful person to declare ETH as a non-security, but news of the meeting quickly circulated, as reported by Nathaniel Poor, Moya and XRP are irrelevant. Commander Gary Gensler of the Commodities and Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, stated that the need for further regulatory clarification was paramount before any action could be taken regarding Ripple. 
what is now the Ethereum Foundation and its subsidiary, Ethereum, were born out of a meeting he organized with Joe Ludwig and other cryptocurrency community members. By this point, things had gotten ridiculous. In June 2018, Coinbase announced that it would list Ethereum Classic after a document verified that the XRP security had been authorized by the SEC staff. In his speech, William Henneman formally certified the contents of this memo, which are not publicly available through the SEC. In his speech, he proclaimed XRP and the Ethereum Foundation's Ether asset to be securities. This proclamation gained traction due to its perceived superiority over Ethereum-based digital assets in terms of efficiency, cost, and decentralization, however, not everyone shares this view. The Ethereum Foundation waited a while before requesting a private meeting with the SEC to talk about Ripple, XRP, and potential next moves in a memorandum that was released a few days later. Since XRP is both substantial and much more decentralized than Ethereum, Nancy, who was there at the clandestine meeting with the SEC, disagreed with the human's claim that it is not a security. Labs chose to meet with Commissioner, SEC, and all rose, speech was meant for Ethereum, as Bill Hinman also made clear, and this was the first public pronouncement by the SEC, saying that this was not a security view, as it is in November Ripple. Matthews W. ostensibly made notes that backed up Commissioner Roseman's assertion that P is not a security, which he communicated to Mr. Garlinghouse at the meeting. But after that, progress stalled until our statement was released to the public in January 2020. At the International Economic Forum, Ethereum presented their digital currency policy-making toolset, and the subject of the SEC was brought up, following multiple private talks between the two parties. The SEC declared the case had been filed against Ripple Labs on January 20, 2020, late in December 2020, after pledging to delay this action if Ripple Labs opted to stop communicating and stop using XRP in relation to the digital asset moving forward. Nonetheless, Ripple Labs declined, and the legal action persisted. Another whale dumped 25.7 million XRP to Bitstamp, which could have further lowered the price. Ripple has attracted attention after selling 46.3 million XRP, and the chief legal officer of the company recently stated that they turned down a settlement offer because they believed Ripple Labs would give them anything. Legal expert Bill Morgan outlined the possible outcomes. Even if investment contracts might not cover programmatic sales, Morgan raised the critical question of whether they should be registered with the SEC. Morgan also noted that selling XRP isn't illegal, but that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission poses a significant risk. As shown by the pricing behavior, the legal darkness makes an already dangerous situation even worse. Anxietyist investors have little to cheer them up as market valuation and trade volume plummet and XRP is barely holding its own after falling below 58 cents from a week ago's top of 6,223 cents. Even though things have just taken a dive, XRP's one-week gains of roughly one show that there is still optimism for its durability. Even while we don't know what the future holds, some could view the newfound clarity about programmatic sales and the law as a move in the right direction for growth. Only time will tell if XRP can weather this storm and return to its former glory. As the SEC looms large in the background and whale motions produce long shadows, be sure to keep an eye on this growing narrative for future updates. The cryptocurrency market has been very active recently, with a big deal involving 443 million XRP tokens changing hands for about $255 million. The Bitcoin community closely monitored the transaction after hearing about it through Whale Alert. It was a total washout today. Please subscribe to my channel if you liked this video and would want to watch more like it. As for now, farewell.